All right, y'all, fast forward uh, two days. Uh, it's been 48 hours. Um, the water's fully settled, and uh, you know, it's a little discolored, that's expected. Uh, so I'm going to test uh, one at a time, do all three tests. You got the N, P, and K. Um, so let's get started. So the first one I'm going to check is the uh, is the uh, blueberry muffin, and I'm really kind of anxious to see what's up with this. So you got to fill up both sides, okay. All right, so you got to fill up both sides, and uh, put the same color capsule in it. The nitrogen is the purple cap. So I'll do that in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the uh, other two, and then we'll get everything so it's just we can do it all at the same time because it has to set for 10 minutes. All right, so. And we just gotta take our uh, take our little little pill, open it up, and put the powder into the All right, so we're going to get them all in good shape. All right, we'll just let them, we'll just let them sit for 10 minutes. And then we'll come back and check and see what they look like. All right, so it's been 10 minutes and uh, we've got our results. So, I would suggest, looking at the color of the nitrogen, that there is a surplus. I mean, it's just kind of a brown color. Um, it's, I mean, it's really red. Um, and surplus is, is like a really, you know, kind of a purplish color or a pink. Uh, the uh, K, I would say is depleted. I mean, it's, or, or at least uh, deficient. It's Comparing it, it's uh, yeah, it's probably between it's between deficient and adequate. And then the uh, phosphorus it appears to be depleted. So I mean that tells us a lot. Um, there was not enough phosphorus in the in the soil went into flour. Um, it definitely starved for that. Uh, at least that's what I'm getting out of it. And then with the uh, uh, the uh, potassium or the potash, um, uh, we're you know deficient as well. So you know it started a flower, it was going really good, and then all of a sudden it was ailing. Um, so that tells me I need to make those a little hotter uh, next year um, for that. So that's going to be uh, our result. So too much nitrogen by far too much nitrogen um, and then uh, way too little uh, phosphorus and potash or potassium um, I mean way too little it's just super deficient so uh, I know that I need to back off on some things next year use less uh, blood meal or uh, less uh, back guano uh, than I, the type I was using uh, on that so so that's it for that one. I'm going to go ahead and reset and then uh, uh, we'll test the, um, uh, let's see, the uh, Jelly Rancher next. All right, so we got the results ready for the uh, Jelly Rancher. And so this one again is a surplus of um, 
Yeah, definitely a surplus of uh, nitrogen. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. Um, so let's see. Uh, the phosphorus, we are depleted. And the potash, potassium, we are also very nearly depleted. Uh, it's between deficient and depleted. So, again, um, ran out of the newts uh, for flour. And let's go ahead and we'll, we'll go ahead and do the um, last one, which is going to be the healthiest plant of the bunch. We'll see how that one looks. All right, so now we have our results for the... Um, the do -si do last plant growing. Uh, let's see here. So this one still definitely an abundance of of uh, nitrogen. Um, very much dark, uh, darker than than it really the test uh, will allow. So I mean, it's super high. Um, the phosphorus sample is actually at a surplus. Um, so plenty there, maybe a little too much, um, but the plant doesn't seem to be suffering. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Um, but this, uh, for the potash, it is uh, adequate. The color didn't really change, so we're cool there. So anyway, um, the color for this is uh, adequate. Um, so I know that uh, the, the mixture in this one particular pot was, I, I wouldn't say it was any different than the rest. Um, the top dressing was the same with one exception, and it's a big one, is that uh, this uh, plant was actually a month after the other ones got planted, and it only got uh, two top dressings instead of three um, over the course of the season. And so uh, this appears to be that I could have backed off on this one on the phosphorus a bit, uh, and then uh, the potash looks like it's pretty much dialed in. Um, so that's good to know. Nitrate way too high. So lesson learned. A um, couple of things need to do a lighter uh, nitrogen uh, based uh, fertilizer in there, so a little less blood meal, a little less backwater. Uh, or, and basically, the biggest lesson of all is test the soil. You know, um, uh, the one that was really, really bad as far as nitrogen goes is going to be the um, blueberry muffin, and that's the one that I thought was a nitrogen deficiency, so I did give it one dose of a nitrogen uh, rich fertilizer all by itself. Um, mistake for sure. So I probably burned the plant. Um, I don't know how easy it is to do with organics, but I'm sure it's possible. Um, but definitely uh, an over and above abundance in all uh, of the, of the uh, pots for, for a nitrogen level. Um, they were all real green, but when it came to flower, they were suffering in the other two uh, ratios of uh, P and K, except for uh, the last one, which was a little over um, on the P and uh, and right on on the K. So, you know, looking good. Uh, definitely can make some adjustments. Um, and, but the, really the biggest lesson, the biggest takeaway for me anyway is let's test the, the soil monthly just to see how it looks according to the phase of growth we're at. Easy to add, tough to subtract. So lesson learned and uh, moving forward, we're gonna have actually better success as a result of our failures, you know, every, every uh, uh, every failure is uh, that much closer to a success, right? So that's it for now, guys. Uh, be basically wrapping up for the season. I'm probably going to do a run more quick update. Uh, that's going to be the uh, pre-harvest of the dosi, which is about a week out, um, and then uh, just the overall what do we what do we get out of things this year? Uh, definitely a disappointment, though, I'll tell you. So see you guys in a bit. Take care. Happy growing.